All right, boys. Let us waste no time. This is designed to be account review number 21. And I wanted this to just be a casual one. We've been doing a lot of collabs with people and like trying to maximize like, you know, triple crown this, whatever. Instead, a little bit of a casualness. Let's quickly take a peek. What we first do when we get into an account? That's right. How's our abyss progress looking like? We know that currently, right now, the current abyss is much more in favor of single target. Actually, not even really single target, but single target for sure for the second half. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is the tangiest single HP boss so far. And then these are three hatched. Was it three or two? This was not like the big like bathysmal ones at the bottom of Enkonomiya. This was just like, okay, it's just two. So this is just two of the normal ones. These ones just like swim around you and are annoying, but they're not like linked. And sh this is just anti-freeze. Literally nothing about this is unique. This is just preventing you from using Ayaka. That's the only reason why this floor exists. It's to just say F you to Ayaka freeze teams and any other freeze that you're doing. Okay, that's literally all that is. And then Kenki is Kenki. You guys are you guys are used to Kenki. The first half, obviously, again, more anti-freeze comps. And honestly, generically, this is like this is probably the strictest DPS check that we've gotten. Right? The second half of this abyss is just two bosses with an annoying invulnerability phase that causes a phase change. Wait, okay, did you just... Okay, YouTube frogs. I feel like I know what this account is. This account, I feel like Mr. K is saying floor 12 because it's not worth his time to get the primos. Because this, I feel like he could totally 36 star the abyss. No? Because he, he stops at 27 every single time. But yeah, honestly, YouTube Frogs, floor 12 has been the only floor that has continually gotten harder and harder. And yet, for some reason, the rewards stay the exact same, right? So like, if you're willing to sacrifice 150 Primo Gems, which, I mean, I guess not a lot of people are, don't feel bad about just 27 starring, all right? But yeah, it seems like what it is. Let's check his pins really quick. On my way, leveling all my DPS and support to 90 and 80. Also, their weapons and talents. Not building Razor, Barbara, Noel, Ningguang, Yenfei, Sucrose, Aloy, Amber, Lisa, Xingya. Okay, so typically these are less quote unquote meta characters. Working on Ito, Goro, so a, a, a Ito comp. Ayato, Yunjin. Okay, Ayato is just general hydro. Yunjin is auto attack base. Yai. Okay, you just want to level up everything that you like playing. Chen Hun, Yunjin's artifacts. I haven't. Bro, why did you spend a pin on this in the video? Why do you why do you have to point it out? No one asked. I don't care, okay? Do you hear my voice? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Screw you. Just need advice on characters, especially on artifact sets. Smile. Also getting John Lee and Kozlo to 90. Yell on, yell on 90 or 80. Think. Weapons to 90, 70. Weapons will be uh, after the character. Okay, not doing level 10, 9 tons cost too much. Fair enough. No artifacts for the... Wait. Wait, how am I supposed to read... How am I supposed to read this? Where, 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 who, who is this for? Oh, it's like this. Okay, on my way to this. Also getting this. Weapons and then not doing level 9 talents. And then it goes not building Razor. No artifacts will likely never use. Working on these guys will farm their materials after finishing leveling others. Okay. I think you have nearly every character, right? Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 48. You're really close to having nearly every single character, I think, right? You're currently riding Shogun. Kaching target hack 90. Okay. Before we go into anything, let's see how your builds are. Okay. How's your show? Best in slot. Tushima now with two Viridus and Venner. Okay. Alternative would be four Vermilion. C0, triple eight. Looks good. Good attack. About 120% attack. The crit rate's good. The crit damage is good. The energy recharge is better than what most people's Shaos look like. <laughs> I say that because I feel like most people who run Shao have like five recharge additionally. General piece stats, I think pretty, pretty good. Um, what can you really improve though? You're leveling up a lot of characters at the same time. Hard to get recharge substat on. Hard to get recharge substat. Same with here. So dead on the recharge here. You have all your recharge from one piece. I think this one did pretty well, regardless. I don't know how you got this piece. I remember my days of farming for a Xiao Sans. I gave up. I just didn't continue. It just never happened. I could never get a 30 plus crit value attack percent piece for him. I just gave up. 
So the fact that you have this is uh, you either farmed a lot or you got lucky. Pretty well built shell. Albedo. I don't think you're going to be using Albedo unless you use Ito. So I should check your Ito first, but he's down here. So, oh, he does have artifacts though. I feel like uh, you might want to use... If you're going to use Ito, I feel like you might want to scrape a, a Serpent Spine. Oh, you'll roll for the weapons. I see. Okay, so, you, so this is a placeholder. You're not actually using Skyward Pride. Got it. How are your general pieces? That's great. That's relatable. That is pain. That is relatable. That is not really relatable, but pretty decent. Okay, not bad. Sets are not bad. If you have Stone Thresher, you're going to need to switch this to a crit rate if you can. Because you're going to be lacking severely on crit rate. Especially if you're running Stone Thresher. Okay. Okay. So, if we're talking about this Abyss. Xiao, and you have Zhongli Albedo on your team, right? Okay. Zhongli Albedo on your team. How's your Zhongli looking? Favonius Lance? Uh, he would benefit from 80 out of 80 if you have the resources to. He's pure support for tenacity. Seems fair. Constellation 1, 188. What are your main stats for for tenacity? HP, Geo, crit damage. Okay, that this piece is cracked. What are your stats? Okay, I feel like... I feel like you do a lot better if you just want HP, HP, HP. This crit damage is like so wasted. Right? If you think about it, like the, the stats on this piece... You're never critting. You're almost never critting on your stuff. You might as well just make him super fucking tanky. The only reason why you would run be running crit damage if you wanted to run crit rate. But I think all your stuff is being taken. Unless you want to level up your R5 deathmatch. Personally though, I feel like in your Xiao composition, all you want him to do is feed your Xiao energy. So Favonius Lance seems to be the best choice. And I think we should just switch this to as bulky as possible. Do you, who do you use less between Diona or Toma? Because I'm going to steal their mask. Toma, what? Either you have Geo pieces or we're going full shield bot. Because honestly, shield bot is totally fine. As long as you have... How's your crit rate now? 31. For Favonius, what are we going to do? Let's see. Let's see. I feel like... I'm just going to switch that. Uh, that's a decent piece. Uh, that's a decent piece. Ooh, that's not bad. Hurry, recharge. It doesn't have a crit damage on it, but it's not bad. I would lock that. Okay, you don't have many options here. You have any HP percent pieces? You don't. Oh, wait. I need to deselect uh, Geo. Crit rate 10%. Crit rate 5. I don't want to level up any of your artifacts right now. This one does have double crit lines if you wanted to try it out. I feel like it would look better if you took Toma's piece right now because Favonius on 30% crit is a little bit sad. But I would actually consider this one the most. 47k HP with 40 crit on 140 return for Vivonius. I think this is a lot more useful for your current situation. Yeah, this is a lot better. Because frankly, you're just trying to keep your team alive. And you will notice that your damage doesn't... You don't lose that much damage, honestly. Was... Yeah, I think that's fine. I would stick to that for your Zhongli. Your bot is most important for you anyway. As Mantis wine tastes the Dude, same I literally... I, I swapped off this guy. I came back and he said the exact same thing right after. All right, Albedo. Cinnabar. How are your stats? Ooh, they're looking good. Your Cinnabar stats are looking good. It's almost 7140, which would be a good threshold. Two Archaic, two Noblesse. This is the old build for him. How are the stats? 1015, 715, 1012 with defense. No crit rate here. Unlucky rolls here. And then a crit rate with 32 points of screen. Yeah, this is a, this is a great uh, Albedo Cinnabar build. It is... 1.54 at the moment, which is perfect enough for you to stop. So this is this is totally fine. Yeah, it has a great mask. Good stuff. 32.6. Okay. So I think the core for your Xiao team is fine. And if you wanted to, your Xiao should be able to destroy the first half. Fairly straightforwardly. So if you just do Xiao first half, you got the CC for it. Uh, you got the sub damage for it. You got easy shield destruction, right? If you had Bennett, I think uh, you'll be working perfectly fine. Okay, what other characters? Raiden Shogun on the second half. Who would we combine with this? I feel like Eula might be your best bet. Do you even use Eula though? If you wanted a 36 star, I'd probably ride in Eula it. You can like one shot. Well, okay, not one shot, by the way. Only one shot if you have C6, which you don't. Okay, let's, let's make that clear. You do have Song of Broken Minds. How, how, do you want to use your Eula? You want to you wanna run Eula Raiden for this? You can skip phase it and you like reduce her problems of energy battery with Raiden on it. You could also run Overvape. You might be more comfortable with Overvape, honestly. Eula versus PMA sounds despair. Why is it despair? 
The 70% resist gets fucking shredded by Superconduct and Eula's E. It's not a problem. If you guys are worried about PMA for because it's physical resist, Eula literally has like minus 80% physical built into her kit. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's see how your uh, carries are built. How's your Hutao built? Probably one of the easiest units for just annoying single target damage. And you obviously have Xingqiu. You do have a Yella. If you want to do double Hydro. Let's see. Yudao has Staff of Homa. It also has 133 EM. Four Crimson. Oh, the stats. Wait, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, that's, that seems strong enough to me. Your crit rate is like on the low side. Because you're probably running a crit damage mask. Ooh, the 54 EM is valuable. Kind of going to be hard to swap this off. Yeah, that 54 EM is adding a little bit of extra punch to it. Let's see what other crit rate stuff you have. You don't. <laughs> okay. All right, how are your HP stands doing? Uh, Relatable. Okay. I think... How are the pieces in general? Ooh, nice. Good EM, nice. Nice. Honestly, this is this is an easy ticket for you if you want. Yeah, this is an easy ticket for you. You got I mean, this is it's like it's like a really strong build and you do have the extra 133 EM on top of your build. Not too bad. And uh, honestly, Magu Kenki and PMA attacks are like fairly easy to dodge. You just need to burst through the the face part, right? I can use either. So, you have C1 Hu Tao. You do. So if you want an easy way out, you could see one Hutao. Yeah. If you're using Xiao for the first half, though, you're going to want to keep Zhongli on there. You can excuse not using Zhongli for Hutao. Totally fine. Will you be able to level up your Yellon in time or not? Nah? You could Elegy it too, right? For the additional 100 EM. I don't know if you can level it up in time. You have like one to two days left. But if you wanted to do double Hydro, I think that'd be totally suitable. Not in this patch. Ooh, okay. So if you want to do it in this patch... Uh... How strong is your ride in? Engulfing Lightning, 4 Emblem. Uh, C0. That's are good though. Just lacking a little bit of crit rate, but your crit damage is good. I had to check, chat. Maybe one day I'll get mine. What do you think, chat? Maybe one day? Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe one day. How strong is your Yula? If your Yula is really strong, I'm just going to suggest that. 4 Pale Flame. Whoa. Good piece. It's a Thanos piece. Great piece. Recharge. Oh, you recharge is... I mean, obviously you'd rather have like maxim maximum crit damage, but... Oh, hold up. Your yield's kind of cracked, yo. 102 fist. 130 recharge. Like, you'll have like literally zero issue. All right, I'll give you the two options, okay? The first option is running Eula Raiden. Uh, if you do run Eula Raiden, though, probably going to... I can't take the double Geo. Do you want double cryo for crit or do you want double electro for energy generation? Rosaria is constellation six. That'd be a good choice if you wanted to add that too. That'd be the double cryo that you would need for this. Pretty easy to generate energy as well. Do you not want to use your Bennett? I noticed that you had a Kokomi on this team. What if you did Raiden Kokomi, Yula Rosaria for your second half? So you'll have uh, Raiden Kokomi and then you'll have Yula Rosaria. And then for the first half, you do the typical Xiao, Zhongli, Albedo, Bennett. And if you don't want to do that, your second half can still be running Raiden, Xingqiu, if you want to do Bennett, Jean. What feels more comfortable for you? Do you want a Raiden DPS? I mean, the reason why I don't want, really want to do, like, Overvape for you is because your Raiden's not C2, right? So she's she's losing 100% of her DPS. I'd much rather you use your Yula Raiden combo or you just run Hu Tao with uh, Double Hydro. How comfortable are you with Hu Tao? You can just do single hydro or Hu Tao. Okay, I'll let you. I'll leave you with the options. Okay, so one option is either you do Raiden Yula, and then the other option is you do Hu Tao Xingqiu. Standard stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really it. I don't think you need me to show you Hu Tao gameplay, right? Yula Raiden. I don't think you need to show uh, me to show you who, the the gameplay. Okay, your weapons are not really relatable. I just, I, I like opened up your weapons for a second and I'm like, okay, this is almost a full screen of five star weapons. All right, besides the weapons, you are fairly relatable in terms of your artifacts, okay? Besides your weapons, K looks like a collector. Like they like to collect all the stuff. You know, I feel like you suffer from lack of resources, right? I say you suffer from lack of resources. Motherfucker has 9,994 Mystic Enhancement Ores, bro. I thought he was resource suffocated because I saw only level 80 weapons. No Mora? Oh. Bro. <laughs> yeah, man, no Mora. Yeah, same. 
26.9 million, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, 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 no flame, no flame, okay? This is relatability, all right? They're just a casual gamer. They looked at 412, they said 412. No one's got time for that shit, man. I know you guys in chat are really mad. You're like, give me the Mora. Give me the resources. I could use that. I know. They're just doing their thing, man. Okay. I was really excited to see this review of a relatable casual. It is. Okay, chat. What part of this is not relatable? Let me get off the weapon screen. Okay, now. What part of this is not relatable and casual? And all right, chat. Come on. You guys, you guys are giving relatable care too hard, okay? If, if you've been playing for all of the games since release. Okay, besides the weapon roster, and besides all of the five-star characters he has, the artifacts are relatable, right? You guys are mad at the amount of characters and the amount of weapons. At the end of the day, Abyss only takes 8 to 12 characters. That's all it really takes, man. And the weapons, you know, I love you, they're fine, okay? The artifacts are the relatable part. All right, what else do I want to look at? <laughs> 182 fragile resin, okay. Wait, Chad, they look like me. They look like me, but like half. How do you have more dream solving than I do? Huh? I guess you're just luckier, bro. All right, chat. We're going to go back to relatable builds, okay? To make you guys feel better about everything, okay? How does Kakomi look? Everlasting Moongle level 60. Four-piece ocean huge clamp. Wait, how are your artifacts for this? Boss champ? Okay, that's really good. 16% HP. Unlucky on the attack rolls. 15 HP, 11 recharge. Okay, these are looking to be a pretty good clam pieces. HP percent here. Oh, unlucky. You got a flat attack dedge. Recharge is good. Look at that. See, relatable. See, chat? Relatable. Look at the beautiful rolls on this piece. Sometimes you got to use what you got to use, man. Healing bonus. Flat eight. Look at that. Okay, this is, this is what I'm talking about, right? See, it looks good. The Kokomi is not bad. 0-0 zero, zero here. 136 recharge. Good stuff. Artifacts. Kazuwa. Freedom Sworn. Viridescent. All right. How have your EM timepieces gone? 187. I'm guessing you haven't found it yet. Ah, despair. Did you give up on this? I'm, I think you got... I think you gave up on this. Oh, wait. You didn't. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you have two different builds. Oh, okay. So, okay. In my opinion, you should just use the same artifact set on Kazuha that you do on Venti. And like, I want your Kazuha to have more of the EM pieces because his responsibility as a buffer is usually in your best nature over Venti. Venti's build can be more crit focused. Kazuha's can't. That makes sense. I'm gonna switch this over really quick because that is something for that the YouTube frogs can learn from. Agree? And then this piece, surely you have an EM main stat of some type, right? Oh, wait. Oh, you do. Wait, you have this. Okay, that's lit, dude. All right, all you need to do is just level that up. I mean, you actually don't really want this. You want recharge stat, but this looks this looks good. You know, it looks, looks hot. If you roll that, it looks hot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You want me to roll that, by the way? Wait, you're caught. You're you have a crit Kazuha. Holy sh! Your pieces are woke. Damn, those are some. You farmed this dungeon for a long time, cause like you have a full set. I just stole this one, but Xiao also has two pieces. From the set. Damn. Okay. So if you do level up this, if this gets to 187, then you're gonna be adding 159 elemental mastery. Which means you should be sitting at about 860, 870. All right, what other characters have you invested in? How's your Kaching look? Jade Cutter, Noblesse, Thundering. C1, Triple Eric. It looks fine. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, your Jade Cutter is carrying you, I think, here. Pretty good. How relatable are these artifacts? Okay, they're they're not that really. Relatable? Yes? Yes. Okay, wow, look at that. Perfect. That's what you guys have. Look at that. Amazing. See? They're struggling with their goblins just like you guys are. Let's fucking go, dude. It's like their best one. Okay, not really, but yeah. Yeah, that's pain, dude. Your electro goblets are legit pain. <laughs> After I've seen your viridescent pieces, these pieces are kind of sad. 
but you know it is it is what it is who else am i interested in i think everyone wants to see well your tartax 90 has a 1.1k defense polar star four heart of depth how are we looking on the stats 64 one 193 Okay. Unlucky rolls. This is an unlucky roll piece. Relatable. Not relatable. But you guys have not relatable pieces. Relatable as hell. Look at that. All right. My favorite characters to look at. Oh, you've actually built a lot of characters. Let's see. Miss Butter Reforge on Ayaka. Your four Blizzard. C0, triple eight. How are we looking? Oh. That's a little despair. Okay, your 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 recharge is actually Omega Despair. Uh okay, I think I think your Ayaka might a little help. Hold on. Hold on a second. We we we're gonna need to have some ER because oh. Considerable. Considerable. If you don't need the crit rate from that, how's that? Oh. That is so unfortunate. Uh oh. Okay, you cannot complain about that. That is a not relatable piece. That is an omega not relatable piece right there. I mean, you have all these block pieces that have double crit, huh? Yeah, it's not relatable at all, boys. So, chat, here's the thing. This is a case where we need to sacrifice crit damage for recharge. How am I able to do that, though? It's kind of impossible. That's on Raiden Shogun. I cannot steal that. That's on Xiao. Cannot steal that. That's on Toma. I can totally steal that. Okay, that would already help a ton if I use that piece. Okay, Toma, I'm sorry, but you, you've you been swapping your pieces 24-7. I'm sorry about this, but it's got to be done. All right, now your Ayaka has 11 more. Uh... Okay. You know what we could also do? If you have a godly attack percent piece, not godly enough, no, no defense crit damage okay i think that's it and is that the only improvement i can make to your ayaka right now you are above crit rate cap now um i don't think we have enough pieces i could honestly switch this over this is the piece that i'm thinking that we have to swap over this is you can't swap this one over you don't have any other option here and this is giga chad so like this crit rate 6.6 .6 will cut you down to 42 which is still within good reason i can do that later maybe okay um, I'm just going to give you a suggestion. I'm just going to switch it, okay? That's it. See? Without upgrading that piece, your recharge is much better. Uh, your crit rate is not in a shabby spot. Okay, Ayaka is a little bit fixed there. How's your Ganyu look? Amos, four Wanderers. 848, eight, seems fair. Ooh, pretty good. Nice pieces. This is a play to enjoy account. Agree? Because, like, Kay has built nearly every character that they just like. He could totally 36 star if he just wanted to spend the time on it. But I think at this point, he's just been farming to do his dailies and then getting off the game. No one can deny that that's totally fine. Like, you have life obligations or stuff like that. Those of you who are getting mad because he's not using all his resources, he's very likely just doing. Buys the BP, rolls on characters that he likes, tries to level a little bit of them, doesn't give a shit about Abyss for floor 12 because it's annoying as fuck. Probably works a little bit. Can't play Genshin 24-7. No one's complaining about that type of mentality, right? So like, when I see people looking at this account, I don't want you guys to be envious and be like, oh, wow, he has all these resources. I can make that account better than him. No one gives a shit, dude, okay? He's just having a good time. All right, boys. What else we have? Thundering Pulse on Yoimiya. For Shimanawa. 881. Oh, you actually said f her burst. <laughs> Even though her burst is a nice portion of her damage and it's her only AoE form, you just said f her burst, dude. And honestly, play how you want, you know? I feel like Yoimiya players got baited by this set bonus. Because you're kind of baited into thinking this is her best set. Because she's released with Inazuma, and you're like, oh, yeah, she's a normal attacker, so you ignore her burst entirely. They made her burst or something, right? Well, I mean, no one likes farming the Crimson Domain anyway. So, if you do happen to have a good Crimson, though, if you do do Vaporize, you and Mia, Crimson's obviously much better. How are the pieces looking? Nice. That's a good piece. Even with the flat attack dead stat, this, this is a four-line start. Uh, that's a dead defense roll. This is also a four-line start. Wow, that's a cringe piece. 
Um, we're just gonna move on from that one. That is a relatable. We went from cringe to relatable in like a second. Damn, dude. Relatable. That's your stats. 74.6 to 233.1. I mean, it seems pretty solid. Your Yomi is pretty strong. Uh, what's your build quality here? 1.65. Um, a mighty little higher. 1.66-ish. Very nice Yomiya stats. Yes, indeed. And then now you're working on Ito. You're working on these characters as well. Okay, okay. I really feel like you should work on Yelon. Because I feel like Yelon will actually introduce a lot of compositions that you normally don't play into, into playing. I noticed this with Yelon too. I don't use Xingxiu on a normal basis. The minute I like started working on Yelon, I'm like, all of a sudden, I just wanted to have double Hydra on my team everywhere. If I could use it, I would use it. Like on Hu Tao or Yu Yimian, you both have them like relatively easy built, right? So like she enables a lot of like the usual comps as well that you don't really particularly use. I think this is probably the best investment for your current roster as of right now. You already have Kokomi for freeze. You already have everything else. You already have all the other pieces. You have Sunfire Gene with Bennett if you wanted to do. You could do Monopyre with Kazwa. You can do freeze with Kokomi. Uh, we can do Taser as well. You have Raiden Shogun for Rational. Iga for freeze, Melt Gone you. You have every single piece. So if you like Yelon the most, I think she is the best next investment for you. And uh, maybe we can help you build her up a little bit. So you're definitely gonna be using Aqua Simulacra. Now it really depends on your artifacts. So I'm gonna go into your emblem. I have to steal your Beto. It depends on how often you use Beto. Ooh. Okay, you have a double crit piece here. You have a four line crit piece here. These pieces. Toma has this? That's looking like a that's looking like a yellow beat. Uh that has the right stats for for her as well. Wow, you rolled that too. Okay, so if you do run this, you are going to be stuck at 140 recharge or lower, which means you must do double hydro if you do that. I think God, I hate looking at this game. Well, I mean, if you don't use Raiden Shogun, you can always use this. Because that is literally all she needs as well. You have either piece. Okay, yeah, you should definitely work on your Yelon. I think uh, I think you're really, really close. So you stole this piece away. This piece is on its way up. That's a good Hydro Damage piece. Do you have any other options? Let's take a look. That looking like possibly the best one. You are going to want more crit rate though. I, I don't know if you want to expend your HP percent. This is technically better. Depends on how often you use Tartag. I don't know how often you use them. Uh, you can also opt for HP percent as well. If you have an HP percent goblet that you just happen to be lying around. So this is a good option. Wait, you have, why do you have so many of these? They have one, two, three, four, five, six, double crit HP percent pieces. Uh, you could totally use that as an off piece. It's currently your off piece right now. You could totally, you could totally justify that. That's kind of, that's kind of crazy, dude. Those of you who are wondering how to build a Yelon in terms of artifact stats, please. I do have a video on Yelon and her artifact stats in literally every single situation you could ever think of. Okay, besides physical. All right, what are we looking at here? Wait, hold on. I see this piece. Hold on a second. You have an HP percent emblem piece. Oh, I do really want to level that up. Oh, you have two of them. You have three of them. Wow. Damn, I would love to have these possibilities right now. Okay, well, you have more than enough options to gear up your Yelon. I wish you the best of luck because I think Kay does not want me to roll any artifacts currently because it doesn't have. Okay, I think that's it then. Obviously, you can always use Shaolin if you want to use Shaolin. Gotta mention it because, uh... Oh, he doesn't want me to roll because he's seen my artifact luck. Okay, I guess. Man, what pain, boys. All right. So, how would this look? Can we do a test drive? One little minor test drive. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta use Xiao. I literally never play this character. Ever. What do you guys want to... Oh, you know, we, a, a lot of a lot of us don't see Yula Raiden anymore. He has a message for me. What did he say? Check Fuzile. Wait, who... Who do you want me to check? Oh, you want me to check Fischl. Bro, is this a meme? Sacrificial bow, Fischl. <laughs> Stick the Skyward Harp. You're not using it on anyone right now. Perfectly fine. Just a stat stick. High base attack, crit rate, crit damage. Especially because you're running Electro, right? Yeah. Whoa! Your crit rate is a bit high. Um, What can we do? Crit rate is very high. 
I would like you to use... You don't have a crit damage option here. Oh, you do have these pieces. You have some pieces that have possibility. Okay, I think that's it. Just find a crit damage mask. The reason why you have so much crit rate is because you have these two pieces. 11% and 12.8% that don't have crit damage subset. This has 6 and this has 7.4 and this is main stat. So it's literally just these two pieces that are causing your crit rate to be so high. Alongside, obviously, Skyward Harp. But yeah, I mean, if you want a Mimo Sacrificial Bow, you can. But it's not, it's not like additional damage. All right, boys. What am I doing for the rotation for this? You set up your E here. Uh, Rosaria EQs. And then Mona does her whole combo. And then I could use Kokomi Burst strictly just to refresh the Jellyfish. Oh, no, I do the I do Kokomi je Jellyfish right before right. Okay, whatever. Check it out. All right, well, we got... Oh, I forgot that you don't have C2. Worthless. Worthless. <laughs> Stop saying it. You're making me. <laughs> I can't take this character seriously, dude. All right, come on, get over here, boys. How's my energy? Oh god, it's kind of horrible. Oh wait, am I still in burst form? That's not. Good. Okay, I'm not. How's his energy? Kind of copium. I need your energy, please. I need John Lee Savonius to proc again. Thank you very much. Did it proc? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, what does Xiao say on his uh, burst activation? Evil conquering? Is that what it is? Oh, it is. Okay. Witness my great undertaking. Dude, Xiao brings out the villain in all of us, man. God damn. <laughs> oh, I don't want to clear this for you, by the way. Let's just do one rotation. All right. Oh, wait. It's one at a time. Why do you time it like that, you sh Vengeance will be mine. Crush. Okay, listen, chat. I didn't get the crowd debuff. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe against this debuff, uh, this is not the best idea. Okay. You know what? Maybe we should use our priority DPS. It's time to lament and be worthless again while we Hu Tao with... Who's our last one here? Should we Xiangling it? And Toma it. Bro, Toma needs some love, man. All right? Everyone, everyone already loves Shaolin. Toma needs some goddamn love. I don't even know how your Toma is built, but we're going to use him here. Oh, you could use Kazuha. Kazuha would actually be better. No, 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 no. Surely Toma has HP, okay? No, 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 no. Trust, trust, trust. No cap. Why are you guys away from each other? Okay, you know what? It's time to be a proper gamer, okay? Wait for Bennett's ult back. We're going to walk behind us and wait for them all to TP under me. All right, let's do this. Come over here, boys. Stabilize. There we go. Hog, dude. Disappear. Disappear. Stop running away, no. Oh, wait, we took a, we took much longer. Just listen. It'll be fine. Oh, you guys like lamenting a lot, don't you? Hello. Whoa, lag. Pretty good. Hello. Okay, you should be fine. Oh, you're yellow on level 40, by the way. So, like, Lamau. Okay, you should be fine. All right, am I, do I have enough damage here? Or am I not have enough damage? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. You can do it. Problem with that team is that all Albedo, John Lee, e, Bennett, Old, Shell, all knock their enemies away. How do you guys deal with that? I don't think I ever enjoyed using Shell because I always knock enemies away. I'm like, I don't want to chase. Where's the damage? Well, I mean, the second one. How's your Xing Chou, by the way? Oh, you have Sacrificial. Should have been using that. I was too used to Favonius. It's fine. Yellon's kind of. XD. <laughs>
Yalon's build is kind of XD right now. No cap, dude. Wait, what is nish, nish, national? National. National. You want me to use Bennett, Xiangling, Xingxiao, and Xiao? That one's cringe as hell, dude. I don't want to do that. Four viridescent Favonia Xiao. Bro, I am not going to show that on stream. That sounds like no shot I'm going to... No. You, dude. I don't care if it's good or not. No. I'll do it for two seconds, okay? Just for the YouTube content, because this is going to be in the review video. Why is this a thing, dude? Don't tell me I'm running Elemental Mastery Xiao. No? Okay, I'm doing the normal damage based. Okay, okay, that's fine then. We can make it work. We can make it work. Wait, your pieces are actually kind of lit though. No okay, care. What the f Pog Champ. Wow. Epic build. 76, 156. Does this actually work, dude? Do I not even plunge? Do I just auto attack for Xing Chou? Or do I do N1 between my, my plunges? YouTube Frogs, listen. If you're still watching this, I'm against my will here, okay? I don't know what the f this is. All right, Pog Champ, dude. I'm fing ready for this. Shit. Let's do, uh, let's set up Xing Chou's first. Stop! Fuck you! Okay, wait, can you guys group though? Uh oh. Wait, that's a lot of damage. Wait, the damage is kind of good. Wait, there's a lot of fucking numbers going around, dude. Okay. If if they if they were grouped better, we'd actually like probably sh that's no cap. So all we need to do is we need to go back here. Alright, don't fucking move. I missed my second E because this game sucks ball sack. Where are you guys? Okay. I can't. Ch okay, there we go. Okay, my uh, Xing Chou burst ran out, but it's okay, I guess. To use this to get my energy back. Come on, Guo, but you got this. Hog. Dude, how are you serious? Charlie, get your fing old back. Okay, there we go. Okay, if I had a higher level of Favonius, I could do this. Oh, I can see this comp though. All right, boys, YouTube frogs, that is it for this account review. The most relatable one you've ever seen as Xiao stutters to the finish line. I played way too much Xiao in this review, but I hope you enjoyed it. Yep, yep, yep. I better not see comments making fun of this account, all right? Mr. K is just playing how he wants to play, but he can definitely 36 star when he wants to. Hope you guys enjoyed. My Twitch followers don't even know I'm doing an outro right now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.